Oliver, good to have you with us. We got a pretty good taste about the difference between essential stores that were allowed to be open during the pandemic, Target, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, and everybody else that wasn't. Um, among the essential stores, who did the best? Yeah, we're excited about Target. Target and Walmart had both had very good prints. Target, 140% digital growth. That's really impressive. And this whole theme of bifurcation, clearly the malls, JCPenney, apparel is quite apparent. Month-to-month -month volatility has been a risk factor too. But we like Walmart, Target, Costco. Thematically, curbside pickup, that's huge. Drive up, over 5 million people used it at Target this quarter. 40% of them are new. And really reinventing retail in terms of drive up, curbside pickup is where we're headed. And this has happened in, in three weeks as much as it would have taken three years of, of different changes. So innovation here, rapid innovation, rethinking safety, and also the entire store experience. This has been happening now very quickly. Target and Walmart had invested in this and it's really paid off. And we do see the big getting bigger. Oh, so these oh. are all themes we're paying attention to. Are these shifts, Oliver, that, that we're seeing temporary or permanent? Well, the, the trick to curbside pickup is customers really love it and they spend more often. The other issue in retail is there's a lot of consolidation happening. You're doing less transactions, but you're spending more. So the short answer is yes, it sticks. And that enhances customer lifetime value, loyalty, market share gains. It's a nice flywheel. As you use it, you do like it. So what does it mean for the other retailers that have remained closed? We're going to get L Brands, for instance, which owns yeah. Limited and Victoria's Secret, all, all the trouble spots, right, in the mall that weren't allowed to be open, that are going to start reopening. How do they deal with the surge in online usage of places like Target, which also does sell apparel and accessories? I mean, I think there's an aggressive move to try to implement curbside at so many places that wasn't traditionally done. Grocery was an early innovator with this channel, so it's a model uh, that others will have to follow. And you're totally right. Apparel is a big question mark. People are not buying as many pants, really, and they're buying a lot more printers as people really stock up on home essentials and office. So we've seen a lot of apparel write-downs and inventory write-downs, and we also expect a lot of promotions in that category. Uh, it remains to be seen. It'll be an interesting time for apparel, which really needs to reinvent itself. Loungewear, denim, active, athleisure, those are uptrending. But the apparel market and discretionary items in the future of the mall, co-tenancies, rent expense, those are all things we're focused on. We also think less is more, the rise of re-commerce, rethinking clothing as a service. And this value story where prices matter, I'm getting your clothes at Target, Costco, Walmart. People love that, too. So these are all key issues uh, for the future of retail. Oliver, when you consider some of those numbers you mentioned uh, from Target and, and Walmart and, and others, should Amazon be nervous? I, I guess not relative to, to all sorts of other retailers that might be struggling a lot, but, but relative to where people's expectations have gotten for Amazon and the path it's on over the last sort of couple of years and, of course, where, where their share prices, which is uh, all-time highs. Yeah, Wilfred, I, the major theme here is, is the store and the future of the store as a hub. So curbside pickup is the genesis of physical and digital and rethinking um, what retail means with merging digital and physical. Are they nervous? I think the future of retail involves stores. And 80% of Target's online orders were fulfilled by stores. And curbside pickup was very successful at Walmart and Target. So the future involves stores. The future also involves grocery and AI. Uh, and all these factors are converging. Um, so everything's up for consideration, and we'll probably see a lot of interesting, bizarre, relevant M&A, especially as apparel and department stores need to reinvent themselves as well.